Why do we need conservation of momentum? Can't we just use conservation of energy? For example, if we have two balls and we have one ball move in at a specific velocity, hit ball two, and ball two moves out, okay? We can quantify the velocity moving in, one half mv squared, and it hits, stops, and the other one starts moving. Now that one is one half mv squared. So why do we need conservation momentum? Well, when this happens, did you hear that? Sound is being made. So sound is a form of energy. Things are vibrating. It's kinetic energy. So if we use conservation of energy, we need to account for that sound being produced. Now, how do we do that? Well, it's very difficult to do. And unless we can account for that sound of impact, conservation of energy doesn't work. That's why we need conservation of momentum. So to get into the equations of the conservation of momentum, we, on the left-hand side, we will have summing up all the masses times all the respected velocities at time one or state one is equal to the sum of all the masses and, and all the velocities at time two. Okay, and so this can govern something one being prior to an uh, impact and two after the impact. Um, but notice here that there's, there are no external forces being applied in between one and two here, right? We're accounting for everything in the mass times the velocity here. So no impulses are in this equation here.